Hey, good morning, everybody. This is First Warren Storm Team Chief Meteorologist Brad Pamich. Taking a look at what's going on this morning, we've got quite the interesting setup this afternoon for active weather in the Carolinas. The first thing you notice on the map here is that you see this very strong cold front, which I'll put up our isobars here. Uh, let me put up the isobars. These are our isobars, these lines you see across the screen. The front is right there where you see the notch. And then these arrows, these are the wind speeds at 850 millibars. Roughly this time of year, that's between three and 5,000 feet off the ground. And you notice these bright kind of pinks, purples, and even whites. Uh, those are winds that are way up there uh, around 60 to 70 knots just off the surface. So very strong southwest winds are moving into the Carolinas right now. Even though we have some light rain and clouds, uh, temperatures are beginning to warm up quite a bit. In fact, if I put the temperatures on here, um, I'll take off um, the isobars. You can see temperatures are already in the 50s, so we're going to see a very warm afternoon. But the big concern is this Arctic front right here. You can see right now we've got one tornado warning up here in southern Indiana. We just had one briefly down here in parts of Louisiana. So along the front, the threat for strong thunderstorms, possibly even severe thunderstorms, will persist through the evening. My main concern is going to be with that front tonight um, that we could see some strong storms develop. In fact, let me turn off some of the uh, stuff you see on the screen here and let's look at the model data. The first thing we're going to look at is reflectivity, which is basically future radar. So let's put up a future radar of some of the short-term models. This is the HRW. Let's go into this afternoon. We'll go to about 2 o'clock this afternoon and there's a look at about 3 to 4 o'clock here we go towards 5 o'clock, 6, 7 o'clock this evening. You can see the front is back here, but notice all these cells developing out ahead of this, the line. We'll have to watch this area down here in particular. I'm not so concerned about this area, though we could see very strong winds. If we're going to see a tornado threat, it's going to be down here in Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, and eventually South Carolina. Let's go out a couple more hours here. Again, this is 7 p.m. tonight. Here is 8 p.m., 9 p.m., 10 p.m. Notice this big cluster of storms in South Carolina. Let me go in real close here. This is an area right in here in South Carolina that would have me concerned for isolated tornadoes. I'm not looking at a huge threat. We're talking about very isolated, similar to last week. It only took one and we had a lot of damage. So we'll keep an eye on that threat here. These storms moving into the mountains will likely be producing damaging winds. So that's something to watch out for as well. We don't want to discount that threat. As we go until uh, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, and eventually we'll go towards midnight here. The front is crossing the Charlotte area. So you can see most of the action is going to be in South Carolina, Georgia, and into Alabama. But even here, right along the state line, we'll have to watch this area right in here for the threat uh, of some potential severe thunderstorms right around 10 to 11 o'clock tonight. So that is my concern going into the overnight hours that we'll have to watch. So the thing I'm going to tell you today is please pay attention to the weather as we go into the afternoon hours. We'll likely see a tornado watch maybe issued down in this region later this afternoon as we get closer to the front arrival. But that's the front we're watching this afternoon. If you have a battery operated NOAA weather radio, make sure it's ready to go. Fully charge your cell phone when you go to bed tonight and make sure you're following me on Facebook or Twitter, especially Twitter. If you check Twitter, if you hear thunder, um, I'll have the warnings out immediately on Twitter. Download the WCNC app as well. We do push out uh, notifications via that, and you can watch us streaming. So if you lose power, you'll be able to flip on your smartphone or your tablet. If you have a battery-powered iPad or Android tablet, you can watch us online. So again, there's our threat going into overnight. I'll, think, I'll keep things up to date on social media today and at WCNC.com. Of course, we'll start covering this this afternoon as soon as the threat starts emerging at 4, 5, 6, and 11 on News Channel 36. Have a great day.